morning everyone. Great to see you all out there. Welcome to Tykes Online with Marie. Today we've got a great morning for you. We're going to be learning about how we are made in God's image. And if we are made in God's image, how we should be humble. Now that's a big word, humble. Well, we're going to learn what that means today. Let's listen to what Megan has to say about it this morning. Let's go. Hi friends, welcome to Church at Home. My name's Megan and I am so glad that you're here. Today we're going to have fun together to learn how special we were all made because we are all made in God's image. God made us to do good like Him. And one way we can be like God is by putting others first. Jesus put us first when He died on the cross for us. That's why we can sing about being forgiven. In fact, let's sing about that and other good things about God together. Let's stand on up and sing the song, Children of God. Let's clap our hands together. We're gonna sing this Children of God song. We're gonna sing, we are loved, we are forgiven, we are free. He said, let there be light. He said, let there be light. He put the stars in the sky. And it was good in his sight. Everyone go like this. He put the fish in the sea. And you created me. To the focus of your love. Let's sing because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that out again. Because of your love. We this way. Your grace rescue me so we can praise and sing a savior and king. Let's sing out because of your love. Because of your love. Sing that again. Because of your love. We Me. Everyone go like this. God, you love me. It's why you made me. God, you love me. It's why you forgave me. God, you love me. It's why you made me. God, you love me for me. Everyone, let's sing. We are loved as loud as you can. We are. I just love singing with you. Go ahead and sit down now. That song reminds us that God loves us, forgives us, and makes us free. It reminds us that we can be His children. That's because God always puts us first. Did you know that Jesus tells us to put other people first? It's a story we can read about in this book. Do you know what book this is? It's the Bible. The Bible is God's special book for us, and in the Bible are many stories about Jesus' life on earth. And today, we're going to watch a story from the Bible that Jesus told to teach us about humility. So, let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps, and let's watch our Bible story. Stories of the Bible. Jesus teaches about humility. This is Jesus. Hey-oh! who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. 
While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He healed many people from their sickness, performed many miracles like calming storms, and even raised people from the dead. Wahoo! There were a group of Jewish leaders called the Pharisees who heard Jesus speak often. One of the Pharisees, named Simon, asked Jesus to have dinner with him. Come on over. Oh, okay. Sounds good. So Jesus went to Simon's home for dinner, and everyone was watching Jesus closely. Oh, hey guys. Jesus noticed that all the people at the dinner were trying to sit at the best seats at the table. Ah. Uh, hmm. So he told them this story. When someone invites you to a wedding feast, don't take the most important seat. Hey, hey, how's it going? The host may have invited someone more important than you. Excuse me. And if you are sitting in the most important seat, the host will come to you and say, give this man your seat. Oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Then you will begin to move down to the last place and you will be very embarrassed. <laughs> so when you are invited, go sit in a seat that is not important. Then the host will come to you and say, friend, we have a better place for you. Then all the other guests will respect you. Everyone who makes himself great will be made humble. But the person who makes himself humble will be made great. Well, that video was great because it showed us exactly what it means to be humble. It means putting other people first. We saw in the story how people tried to get at the best spot at the table. Well, if we were putting other people first, we would let the other people sit at the best spot at the table. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to make ourselves this table to remind us of how, how we should put other people first. So we need some um, stuff to create. We need some plain paper, and you need probably two pieces of colored paper. It doesn't, make, doesn't have to be colored. You can use white and you can color in and do whatever you like. I've chosen two pieces of colored paper. You will need scissors. You will need icy pole stick. You will need glue stick. Uh, some glitter, if you have some. If you haven't, maybe you've got some shiny paper or something like that. Whatever you want to do to create a very special seat at the table need anything you want to draw with whether it's crayons or whether it's markers you get whatever you would like to use now to start with I'm going to create my table and stick it to the piece of paper here now I've got an orange piece of paper which is going to be my table and I simply need to fold that in half all the way along and then cut it out so I'm going to do that now Okay, now we can just put aside that one piece of paper. Now, I'm going to turn this into the table. A table has legs, so I'm going to draw the legs here. And simply by drawing one line, not all the way up, just that way, and on the other side, there, and then I'm going to join those two with one straight line. I'm going to cut that out. So if you have a look, I've drawn one line there, one line there, and a line straight across. So here we go. I'm going to cut up that line across here and as you can see, now I have a table with legs. Here we go. Now down those legs, I'm going to put some glue. Nowhere else, just down those legs. So get my glue stick, put it down those legs and I will stick them on. When I stick it to my other piece of paper, it will mean that I have a gap on the tabletop, which we're going to create a person that will go from side to side trying to get to the best position. Here we go, I stick down that leg and stick down that leg. And as I told you, we will have a gap in the middle. 
So we can put somebody in news from the worst position to the best position or back again, whichever way you want to do it. Okay, now I need some seats to show that there's a good position and there's a not so good position. And I'm, that's where my glitter comes in. So I'm going to draw a chair at both ends. One here, my chair is going to have rounded tops and some slats across them. Here we go, and this one here, another one. You can draw your chair however you like. Have a look at your chairs at home and see what they're like and perhaps try and copy the sort of chair that you have. If you have a look at the chairs in my background, they've got crisscrosses on them and you might use something like that. Okay, I'm just going to do a bit thicker here, so it's a big chair and another big chair. And then I'm going to make one of these chairs look extra special by putting some glue on the slatted parts here. Here we go. And then some glitter on that one. That's our special seat. It's the one that everybody wants to sit at because it's nice and shiny. <laughs> Here we go. Here's our special seat. Put that extra glitter over there. And you can see I have a very glittery seat. Now to create the person who's going to move along here from the worst seat and try to get up to the best seat. But if I'm humble, I'll go back down here again. Here we go. Now we're going to create something that looks like that very simply. So get in your plain piece of paper, draw yourself a face or something like that that is going to move the person. Well, that's a big head. I'm going to colour it in and then you can cut it out. A circle is the simplest thing to cut out. And because we can't see the person's legs sitting at the table, we don't have to draw the whole body. I'm just going to draw a rectangle like that. Did you see a rectangle like that? I'm going to colour it in. So I just have a circle and a rectangle, oops, to, color, to cut out. Very, very simple things. Now in the circle, of course, I'm going to draw a face. It's going to have great big eyes and a nice big mouth very happy person and I might draw some very weird coloured hair. I'm drawing blue hair on this person. Okay and I'm going to simply cut them out. And then cutting out the rectangle for the arms. where my glue stick comes in again. I'm going to stick a little bit of glue here for the face to stick to and a little bit of glue here for the arms very nicely. And then I'm going to put my person inside and they're going to be moving I'm trying to move from the worst position up to the best position. But if they're humble, they will say, well, I don't really need to be at the best position. I'm going to go and sit down here. And I'm going to allow the other person to sit at the best seat in the house. Isn't that fantastic? It reminds us how to be humble. Well, right now, let's go and have a look at our memory verse. Let's try and pop as many bubbles as we possibly can to see the memory verse for today. See you in a few minutes. Okay, everybody, it's bubble popping time. The bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, wait. That's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what a bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out when we pop the bubbles! Bubble popping party people! Let's keep it going, yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here and pop them out of sight! That's it? Alright, alright, keep going, yay! We're almost there! That's a pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Got the bubble that 
Did you get to pop many bubbles? I hope you did. Well, if you did, you would have seen that our verse today came from Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10. And it says this, let me read it to you. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do all good things he planned for us long ago. We're God's masterpiece. That means he created us like a a beautiful painting and we are made in his image let's go to a song right now to hear a little bit more about how we're created in god's image this song is ephesians 2 10 it's all about how we are god's masterpiece the best thing that he has made so we're going to get out our paintbrushes and dance with our paintbrushes can you move them around like this good job let's sing for we are god's masterpiece for we are God's masterpiece, He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, yeah. Two thumbs up so we can do the good things. So we can do the good things, the good things He planned for us long ago. Sing Ephesians 2.10. Together. Here we go. Ephesians 2 10. All right, keep dancing. Let me see ya. Good job. We're going to sing For We Are God's Masterpiece. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So we can do the good things. Thumbs up. So we We're going to sing out Ephesians 2.10 again. I want everyone to sing it out as loud as you can. Ephesians 2.10. Good job. All right, now we're going to go down really low. Can you get even lower? And we're going to jump. Here we go. One, two, three, jump. All right, let me see you dancing and painting. Good job. Can we go in a circle? Good job. Let's sing, for we are God's masterpiece. Everyone together. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew. In Christ Jesus, yeah. So we can do the good things, thumbs up. So we can do the good things, the good things He planned for us long. Ephesians 2.10. Ephesians 2.10. All right, we're going to sing Ephesians 2.10 again. I want to hear everyone sing it out. Here we go. Ephesians 2.10. All right, let me see you painting. And keep painting a circle. Great job, everyone. You can all sit down now. Never forget how special you are to God. He loves you and says you, you are his masterpiece. He made you because he loves you and he has good things planned for you to do. Remember, God made everyone and loves everyone. That's why it's important to be humble and put others first so they can know that they are loved. Now it's time to pray. So put five fingers here, five fingers there, and put them together for a prayer. Let's talk to God. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to show me how to be humble and put others first. But sometimes I don't want to put other people first. So when I feel that way, God, would you help me to be humble and put other people first so that they can know I love them and that you love them too? Thank you for loving me. I love you so much. Amen. 
Well, thanks for joining us at Tykes Online again today. We hope you enjoyed it. What we would love to see you do is create the craft that we made and take a photo of it and send it to Chris D at unihillchurch.com.au. We would love to see your faces and we would love to see your little creations. I've even lost one of my people. Let us see how you put it together this week. Have a great week, everybody. And remember, be humble. Catch you next week.